as, as crazy as everybody says, uh, this is this is a big week. But obviously, every game is a big week when you're the minor hurt. And uh, we go into conference play this week. Um, you know, we're doing a lot of things. We're getting better at something every day in practice. And uh, we're just having a great game plan this week to go up there and come out with a victory. Talk about having gone on the road and getting that win at Pitt. How big is that now that you got to go on the road again? It seems like we've been on the road forever. Uh, I mean, I like road games, and I think a lot of the other players, we get, we get pumped up for them as well, especially when you're on national TV and you get that national audience. I mean, it's, it's always fun to go into another environment and to have a, have a chance to play in front of, you know, maybe not your favorite as fans or not your home crowd. But, I mean, you know, football is football. When, when the game, when the whistle's blown and the lights come on, you, have, you still have to do what you're taught and execute everything that the coaches ask you to do. Speaking of the ACC, you know, the UM's never, hasn't won the ACC yet. Is that surprising to you? I mean, in a sense it is. I mean, I've been here five years now. Um, all have been in the ACC, and we expect to win the ACC conference every year. And the fact that we haven't done it is, is, is kind of surprising, I guess. But, uh, you know, things don't always work out the way you plan, I man. You know, you have to keep fighting and keep going back to the drawing board and trying to find new ways to make things happen. What do you think you guys have been improving on little by little as the season rolls on here? I mean, you, you can talk, you can grasp a lot of things, man. You know, Coach Shen, one thing he's done and the coaching staff has done, they've implemented uh, talking about crumbs, you know, getting from special teams, uh, offense, defense, uh, you know, from tackling to uh, stripping the ball to get more turnovers. I mean, the list goes on and on. I mean, I think once you start to get those things together and you bring them all together, it's going to make the game a whole lot easier. And that's where we have to come in as players and execute everything that they're teaching us to do in practice during the week. Uh, what do you see from their quarterback, Kyle Parker? He's a good, he's a good quarterback. I mean, I heard he played baseball too, and I mean, when you add that in, I mean, obviously he's a smart guy, you know, uh, and I think he uses his weapons to the best of his ability. We have a great tight end, and I know he likes to get the ball to his tight end, which is his leading receiver, and uh, following his running backs after that. Um, they're going to have a great game plan, and we, we just have to make sure that we're ready for it. Your memories from last year, that was a crazy game. <laughs> Yes, it was. I was actually watching it from home because I was hurt last year, and um, you know it was it was a tough loss because it was one of the losses that probably kept us out of the BCS game, and that's going to be in the back of our minds. But we definitely put last year in the, in the, in the back of our heads, but we're moving on forward into this week. At least you don't have to worry about CJ Spiller out there. Right? Not at all. Not at all. I think we, yeah, Buffalo has a big hands with them right now. So. Can you? Talk a little bit about Sean Spence and what kind of player he is, why he's successful, and how 